Once I recorded this and I had shaving foam all over me. Because I shaved. Hello everyone and welcome to episode 68 of the 10 minute mauling challenge. Today we're going to do something a little bit extra. First of all, I'm going to do something I've done before, which is create a low poly character rigged in 10 minutes. And we've got a little bonus part that I'm going to squeeze in now. And uh, we're going to get this character dressed uh, with the uh, clothes that you can change. And they're going to be perfectly weight painted, hopefully, and not leak through any polygons. So that's going to be a challenge, but I think I've uh, got a technique dialed in that I'm uh, actually going to do a fully fledged uh, proper tutorial with it. So, but I thought I'm going to give it a go also for this 10 minute episode. So you know what to come in the future. So let's just get started straight away. I'm uh, going to set my timer as a usual here. Ready, steady, go. And we're off. Yes. Okay, we're going to do the usual auto mirror tab into edit mode. Oh, I was in edit mode. Scale it down. Front view. I'm going to go G. And we're going to make the characters, usually we do them two meters tall, roughly. So they fit inside of door frames and things. Pretty good practice. And here, bring it down. E to extrude, E to extrude, E to... You know this by now. But, so I'll still do it anyway. This is my uh, usual topology for low poly characters. We'll stick to that one. Uh, e to extrude, S to scale, R to rotate. And I'll just do like skinny characters this time. E to extrude, kneecaps. Some extra polygons there. E to extrude that on. And we'll do the feet. I'll do simple this time. Just very basic feet. So nothing new for you here. Nothing nothing to see here. Nothing new. Don't change the channel though, because we're going to get this one dressed, like I said. So uh, maybe like this. And uh, let's move this one down. Three to get into face select. E to extrude. S to scale. Front view. Like this. And then usually here's a trick. Get the arms about the same length apart here as the height of the character elbow and then we're going to do a hand here and we'll do hands up palms down simple hands scale x no y e to extrude leave space for the thumb some fingers and then some geometry to fold e to extrude simple palm and we'll do control plus so i'll just scale it a little bit flatter there. control r and scale it up so again, nothing new here, same as usual. Eight, we already wasted one and a half minutes and we've only got a, a body and hands and feet. Uh, need to make a head. E to extrude, that's the scale. Bring it in, E to extrude, side view, three on the keypad. Actually, I want to bring the neck back a little bit. Studied the uh, anatomy. No, I haven't. Uh, but I sit like a shrimp sometimes in front of the computer. Can't see it too much when I'm facing it, but if you come in from the side, you'll see my aerogonomist or whatever it's called. I don't have one, but would be terrified if they saw me. I should straighten up, actually. Then I'll out of frame, though, so that's not so good. Okay, bring that one in. Control R. I'm, I'm going to do my usual face here as well, where I've got, like, this little dip out there, and then I'll sp spread these out like this. So that's going to be... Again, like the very basic configuration of our character. And now we'll dress everything. Just do, again, naked to begin with. Control R. I'll put underpants on, though. I'm not uh, totally... Uh, I shouldn't be total. I'll get to band here by some, some filter otherwise. So let's select these. And then just do G. Black underpants on there. So... There we go. Bring this in a bit. I'm wasting time here, but that's okay. And we'll do the eyes. Usual thing here. I have to go uh, clipping off though, of course. Scale. Scale. Uh, and I've learned recently that I like to do tall eyes. Because in lack of detail, it looks a bit cartoony, I think. E to extrude that on. L to select that on. G. There we go. And I'm going to do separate, uh, I think, uh, even hair and everything like that will do separate. So I'm just going to leave this G. Is this a different tone now? No, it's pretty similar. I've picked this palette so many times, so... I know where my colors are. There we go. So, this is going to be the basic character. Now we have to rig him then. So, I've got 620 on the clock. has passed. This time, the cat, it's going in the right direction. So, well, big bum there. And some shoulders. That's it. So, do those arms look very strange here? Yes, they do. Elbows, like, out by the <laughs> hands. So, we need to fix that. Got some muscles, packed some muscles on in that process. Uh, but I'm going to lose some of them again. Okay, that's it. Control R, should we do one more? No, we shouldn't. Low poly this. 
old set, so we'll do the rig now as well then. So important here, at the base of the feet, that's where you want the rig. So shift A, armature. We'll go into this one and do uh, bone here. Viewport display. I'm missing things. We should be on this one. Viewport display in front. Tab, shift space, G, get this little manipulator in. We'll just do the root bone here. F2, root. E to extrude, middle mouse button locks that one. F2, spine one. E, I'll just do this first. E to extrude, middle button, E to extrude. And here we shouldn't use the middle button. Uh, but I'll disconnect this bone. Alt P, disconnect bone. There. And E to extrude, elbow, E to extrude. Here, hand, E to extrude. We'll do the palm actually this time. Or just a simple finger here. And here, E to extrude. Let's see, did I extrude it? Yeah. But we'll clear this one as well. Alt P, disconnect bone. So there we go. Thumb connected. Sort of. And we need to do the legs 427. So. Here we do, E to extrude, middle mouse button, Alt P, disconnect bone. Actually, it wasn't probably connected to begin with. So Shift P, Control P, connect, keep offset there. And I want to straighten this leg out a little bit. It was a bit. Alt Z, see through, rotate, maybe like this. And then tab back in to edit this armature and E to extrude. And that is one short upper leg. I've got some proportion issues here now. And here's uh, the other important tip. Now remember, we're going to do inverse kinematics because we're going to do some test animations. So a little dint in the knee there. That's what you need for the inverse kinematics to figure out how to do. And then we also need to fix this one then. Just a little bend. And same thing here for the elbow. Alt set to see through. Move it backwards. Elbow. Tab. Tab. And bring that one back. Alt set. And let's rename these bones. F2, spine 2. F2, head. F2, shoulder. Dot L, remember. The dot L is important for the flipping. Upper arm. Dot L. We've got 310 on the clock. Lower arm. Dot L. And then here. I'll move that one into there. F2, hand. Dot L. And F2 fingers dot L, F2 thumb dot L. Did I get that wrong? No, I didn't. F2 upper leg dot L, F2 lower leg dot L, and F2 foot dot L. Oh yeah, I have to do the. I hate this inverse kinematic thing every time. I gotta do this stupid. So we've got to do here. E to extrude. And then we have to do uh, here, disable the form. I right, usually forget that. Alt P, clear parent, move forward. That's where the knee's going to point. E to extrude. Alt P, clear parent, but we're going to leave it in place. Put the form off. F2, IK, leg, target, dot L. F2, IK, leg, pole, dot L. And here, we'll go into control tab, into pose mode. First, I'm going to do this thing, which I usually forget as well. A to select. A to select. No. There. Tab into the moon. A. Shift N. Recalculate on view axis. Important that you do that when you're viewing from the front orthographic view there. Otherwise, flip pose might not work later on. Control tab. Post mode. Side view. Go here. And let's go object constraints. There's a shortcut for this, but I always forget what it is. So we'll go here. This one is important to go down there as well. Inverse kinematics got 127 on the clock and here we go chain length to target is going to be ik leg target l and that's okay and then pole target is going to be armature ik pole dot l and then we're going to do 90 degree pole angle and then we're going to do this thing again change the foot and go and then we have to remember here, it's relations for the foot here, inherit rotation off, and then go back to 
here. I'm going to add bone constraint, copy rotation, and then we're going to pick the target, ik target.l, and then we're going to do invert something, but first local space for target and owner. And then we've got to check out, I always forget which one, rotate Z works, rotate X is wrong, rotate Y is wrong. So we've got to do Y and X invert, rotate Z. Okay, so everything's, okay, we've got 18 seconds to go. Hey, select everything, F3, symmetrize, and then 12 seconds, Sh select this one, shift select this one, control P with automatic weights, control tab, and he's weight painted. And he's got clothes on, so I haven't totally lied. But here, time's up. Sort of. But I've got um, this thing. And that adds another 10 minutes to the clock. So now let's make the clothes. I did say it was going to be extra, didn't I? So I get some extra time for that. So let's add uh, 10 minutes on the clock. And then uh, let's do some... Uh, and this is probably what you really came for. Because now we've got this character, which is weight painted. I bet you his eyes are going to be off. Yeah, see that one? So I failed a little bit there. Let's pick that on. I'm going to set the timer. So let's go another 10 minutes. So with the extra 10 minutes now, we're going to get some clothes on him and some hairstyles and some beard styles. And then you can interchange these. So this is going to be really useful. Check it out. 10 minutes on the clock. Let's go. First of all, let's fix the eyes. And here's uh, a quick way to fix that. The reason why that the eyes are breaking is because they're not really linked uh, 100%. And you could weight paint it, but I find the quickest way to do it is shift select or press L to select the linked here for the eye and the ear. And then press, let's see, so I remember, uh, shift G, no, nope. control G, and then remove from all, control G, set the active group head, control G again, and then assign to active group. And now all of those will be 100% uh, moving with the head. And if he could do that with the head, he'd have serious problems. With it. So I nearly spent a minute just doing something like that. Now let's uh, do the clothes. That's uh, again, this is uh, the interesting part. So in order to do clothes now, first of all, I'll rename this one to say character. That's the name of this one. And this is the armature. And again, we have uh, the animation or the weight paint is, uh, I'm, I think I'm just going to leave it as it is. It could probably be optimized a little bit, but I think it's good enough. So if we were to animate this, that's a good enough fist for now. Um, it's uh, You could uh, improve that a lot to get the, the bends better, but that's okay. Legs, okay. Rotate. Bomb is a little bit of an issue there, but it's okay. We're low poly after all. And here comes the clothes bit then. And uh, my tip to create these clothes is that you actually go from this. Uh, if I hide the armature here by clicking this eye, let's put it a top on him first of all. And my advice here is to use the uh, geometry that you've got for the body now. So make sure that you pretty much have the character the way you want him to be, first of all. And let's create a, a top on him. So maybe I'll hold Alt Shift and loop select here and then do Control Plus. And then we'll do Alt and Shift select to get here. And we'll get a top that's going to reach all the way out to here and then around the neck here. And here comes the beauty part now. Press shift d to duplicate this into a separate object right click and then do p and then separate by selection and this one we're actually going to do into a separate object so let's call this one top and now we'll tab out and tab into edit mode on this one and the good thing about this one first of all let's colorize it l g and let's just put a white top on for now and you can see that it's shining through now it's because in the exactly same location so to fix that one, we could do... Uh, there's multiple ways you could do it. You, if you wanted to make it like a hollow piece of clothing, I can show you that one. So I'll select this one. Tab. And then hide the top here. And select everything. Alt-E. Oop. My bad. Alt-E. Extrude long face normals. That thickens the top a little bit. Oh, and I see now I've got the clipping off. So I have to go back to the modifier here first and do clipping. And let's try it again. Alt E, extrude long face normals. And here we go. That's the white top now. And if I hide the character, you can see that it's actually created like a hollow top here. And if you were to try to model this one separately, that would suck, basically. 
uh, because if you modeled it, it wouldn't have any weight paint on it and it wouldn't follow the clothes. But this one, the way, since we duplicated the faces of the body, it's pretty good. So if I go show the armature here again, control tab and see here, you can actually animate this character. And most of the time the clothes will be like, since they have the same weight paint as what's underneath there, works really good. And if you wanted to take the clothes off, there you go. And on, on, off on, off on. So the other alternative, if you don't want to add the extra geometry to make it hollow like that, and then you could, if I do select all the bones here, Alt R, Alt G to go back, Control Tab, go to object mode, hide the armature, and then let's see. So this one doesn't have the back faces now, and we'll enable the character again. So again, it's Z fighting here, but if I do, let's see, top, go into the top here, Tab, to select everything you could just do alt s to scale it and that's doing it with oh and i forgot again i need clipping on it's disabled on the character that's why so if i do alt s now i'll just scale it up so instead of alt d to extrude it i'm scaling it up now and this creates a uh we're going to create a solid top now instead if i hide the character then i'll have to cap these now so i can Shift select these or ring select them or whatever and press F to cap it. Same down here. Shift select these, F, and then here select these and go F. So the benefit with this piece of clothing is that it doesn't have the internal geometry that's not really needed or rendered. So this one is a little bit less taxing on the hardware. So if I go enable the character again, you see that the end result is pretty much the same because uh, here the other one is hollow here and here so the only reason why you'd probably want to use this method is if you want to be able to take off the top and show it like a top like this with the interior so that's when you use alt e to extrude and if you do uh, what we did now alt s to scale it up instead then uh, it's going to create a p solid piece but it's uh, less uh, geometry there so if i go enable the armature again select the armature control tab and rotate you see it behaves just as good as the other one so Usually this works good for simple clothing clothing like this, but usually you want to add some details to, you, to your clothes now. So if I do, this one is just called uh, top solid one, let's call it, and then hide. Let's see, we'll hide this one. Top hollow one. Did I do the right one now? Yeah, solid. So if you want to change this top now a little bit with the geometry, you can do that. So we'll do control tab, out of post mode, hide the armature, and then duplicate this top now, hide it. And if you want to edit this, don't do this. Don't move this face and scale it up and go, ooh, that's uh, going to be like a pirate shirt instead. And ooh, let's uh, change uh, something here. Maybe we'll pull the top up here. Uh, maybe a belly top. That's just so wrong. But let's go. Let's go for it. So if you were to change it like this, you're going to have a problem. If I enable the armature, control tab, rotate the arm now. This works, but check now when I rotate this. Okay, that's what that, that's that's weird. Oh yeah, there we go. There's the problem. When I rotate the hand now, that's um, uh, rotating this one. It's because it copied the vertices from this out here, and that should be rotating, but we don't want the top to rotate. So there are a number of ways you can do it, and if we delete this top. Delete, show this one again, solid. Shift D to duplicate that one, hide it. Here's one good thing. If you do Control R to loop cut now, and you place this loop cut somewhere down here, and then you delete this instead. So I shift select these, delete that, faces, and then we'll cap it down here instead. F, and then scale it up. So it looks pretty much the same, but now when you do the loop cuts, it picks the weight paint and it lerps it from this value between this one and the one that was over here. So we should see a reduced effect now, but it still moves it a little bit. And we probably don't want that either at all, because this is an extreme case with the hand. But remember now that if you loop cut and add geometry, it'll take care of the weight painting to some extent. But to fix this one, we have to do it a little bit different. So I do tab and then here you can actually go, if you have edit enabled here or item, 
When you click on a vertex, you can see where it's assigned. And you see this one is assigned to upper arm and lower arm. And this vertex here is assigned to upper arm, lower arm, hand and thumb. And we don't really want that. So what we will want to do is make sure that this vertex has the same value as this vertex. And this one should have the same as this one. So there's different ways you can do it. We could have extruded it from here. We can try that one as well. But before I do that, I just want to show this method. You can shift select all of these. You can actually do, let's see, one, four, four, four. I'm trying to think of the best way. Select this one, shift select the one that you want to copy from and do copy. And then if you switch back up to that one now, you can see that it's actually removed this one to zero. It copied the values. Uh, and if you wanted to have it the neatest, you could actually mark all of these and do shift G, no, control G, remove from all, and then select this one, shift select this one and go copy. And now that one's the same. So this one, shift select this one. The last one that you select is the active one. So when you click copy, it's a bit strange, but it copies from the active one to the target there. So shift select this one, copy. And then that one, shift select this one, copy. And now we have that one works, but when we rotate the hand now, it shouldn't affect the top at all. So that's probably the effect that you want. Maybe you want a slight hand, but I'd probably keep it like this. Um. <clears throat> Time's up. Dismiss and another 10 minutes on the clock here. Start. Let's go. So one last uh, option that we had here to do control tab out of edit mode. Let's go delete this top again. And this is another way you can do it then. Shift D to duplicate the top, hide it, tab into edit mode. So this is the last one I'm gonna show for the for this top. Tab into edit mode. And then now I'll press delete on this face and delete the verts there. And that deleted the top all the way back to here. So if I hold Alt and select here, it'll ring select this one. And now let's do E to extrude this one. Middle mouse button locks it on the axis, but I shouldn't have done that because I need to change a little bit. So we move it out to here and then S to scale it out. So similar look to before, and then F to close that gap. And now we should have the same one as well. So control tab, rotate that works and rotate here and it doesn't affect the sleeve. So the best option for this one is probably to do delete the geometry and then extrude it from the elbow then you get the no weight peak from the hand there. So that's a tip. Okay, let's delete this top, it looks hideous. Uh, and let's just do a t-shirt instead. So shift D and we'll call it t-shirt solid. Again, remember how you can do them hollow if you want to. And to do this t-shirt now, tab into edit mode, select this face, control plus, delete. Faces, and then Alt select here and F to cap it and then S to scale that one up maybe. And if you wanted to create here, we can change this one. Maybe it will do Alt S or S to scale it. G to bring that one down. And if you wanted to sh show some skin here, uh, since we're doing solid clothes now instead of hollow ones, uh, you could go solid, uh, hollow close, then you'd get that gap naturally. But if I just do E to extrude this one down now, then uh, we should be all right, I think. Let's check it. Control tab. Control tab into pose mode. And R to rotate, R to rotate. Yeah, that still works. Pretty good. A, R. So let's put some pants on. Control tab. And to do the pants, you do a very similar way. Select the body this time. T Control tab out of post mode, select the body. And now I'm going to enable clipping on the body here so we don't have to do that all the time. And then just select a few varts there. Control plus on the keypad. And remember what we did before. Shift D to duplicate it. Right click to snap it back. P, separate selection. Tab out of edit mode. Select the new pants object here. And then let's rename that straight away. So pants. I'll, I'll do the solid ones as well. But remember, you can do alt deep or hollow. And then tab into edit mode. A to select all of it. And alt S to scale it out now. It's like a, a inflate. 
mechanism. So we scale it out to there. And then now, remember, we need to cap the bottom here. But let's flare these plants out then. So S, scale down. F to cap those. And here we can put a belt on. We'll do a separate belt just to show that we can. L to select all of them. A, scale zero. Let's put some blue jeans on. Blue jeans. French for you. Probably not, but could sound like that. And let's check it first. Control tab. Okay, select the armature, control tab, and make sure the arm, it's nothing's poking through here. No, looks good. You could get some extreme cases like this where it pokes through, but then you've got some issues that you should be animating differently instead. So in most cases, you should be fine. Alt R, Alt G to move everything back. Control tab. We'll put a belt on the, these pants. So remember now, if you want to add the geometry, Control R is your friend, because now we add there, and that's going to be weight painted in between this value and this value, so it's already going to work out of the box. Alt select these, Alt E, extrude long face normals. Here's the simple belt mechanism. Control plus, and then do G, and then let's put a black belt on him. Martial artist day, business style. Should we put, we should actually put black all around, shouldn't we? Control plus. And, oh. G. And there's the belt and a belt buckle. And a belt buckle, again, work with the geometry that you have here. So I'm going to take this one and shift D to duplicate it. And then let's bring it out. And here. Instead of moving this one in, remember now, if I move this one in, it's going to weight paint, bring the weight, weight, uh, the weight paint. <laughs> it's like a German. Uh, it's going to bring the weight paint from out here. And we don't want that one. So here's a trick then. Control R, loop cut it to the size that you want. There, that's the size we want. And then delete this face. And then S to scale it. It's minor changes is okay. E to extrude that on. L to select the linked, bring it into there. And then let's do... Uh, should it be brass? Should it be silver? So it'll melt in with the top. Let's do like a, a brass or a gold belt Pokemon. There. And this one should work now. Control tab. Our belt buckles following along really good with the weight paint. It changes shape there. And you probably don't want... For the belt buckle, it'll be a bit different. We don't actually want the weight paint probably to be any different. So here's a question. The belt is changing as well, so I think we'd get away with it. It's low poly. Um, if you're not happy with the fact that it, the belt buckle is changing, Alt G, Alt R, we can try this. Control Tab, back into object mode. Tab, L to select the linked here. Let's try to just change this one. So we'll shift select these two. Shift select this one last and do copy. And then here we'll do select that one. Alt set to see through, shift select that one, and then shift select this one. That's the last one, that's the active. So let's do copy on that one. So let's see how this works. Control tab, object mode, alt set to control tab into post mode and rotate the body. All right, it still uh, actually folds it. So that was no good. All right, scrap that one then. Hmm. The belt is changing as well. I think it'll be fine. Uh, one way to do it would be to lock it to the pelvis bone here, but I think we'll run into issues then because then uh, the belt will stay stay still if we tilt. So, yeah, I'd say go for it. Go for that one. So here's another one. Uh, we'll have to put some shoes on. Or first of all, we'll do a separate pair of pants. Here comes the beauty now with the interchangeable clothes. So for the pants here now, I'll do Shift D to duplicate those and then hide the original pants here. Control R. Or tab first, control R, let's put shorts here. So control R to loop cut that, remember, now I get really good weight paint here. Flare that one out. Flare this one out. Oh, let's put some uh, green combat shorts on him. Control plus from the bottom there. Delete these. Alt select those, F to cap those. Get Create a face there. L to select the linked, and on the left here now, let's put some... Uh, green uh, combat style pants here and let's take away the belt buckle 
and L to select there. Let's go for a brown belt instead. There. And that's a pair of shorts then, and we can bring this. You can make small changes like this. Uh, the weight paint will follow along, so it should be, should be okay. Select the armature, control tab, rotate, and there we've got a pair of uh, shorts now that follow along without penetrating. I always put emphasis on the... I always emphasize the P on penetrating. Hmm, strange. Someone pointed that out in the comments. Okay, uh, and here, I guess uh, one nice thing now is if we put him into a little pose here. Like this. Now you can change the clothes then. So if we just hide the t-shirt solid, then he's got no uh, top on there. And if we put, uh, maybe we'll put the top solid on instead. There, long sleeve. And here, we've got the hollow one, still works too. If we want to do that one, switch those back into the pants there. And the weight paint is good. Show the armature again. Control tab, eight, select everything. Alt R, Alt G to reset back to there. And then sh shoes on, same way. Control tab, hide the armature. Control tab, object mode. And same here, we'll do control plus to there. We'll put boots on them, so I'll hide the pants. Tall boots like this, should be. Yep. Oof. <laughs> Restart. No, 10 minutes on the clock there. So sh here we'll do shift D, duplicate those. P. Separate selection, tab into edit mode, or out of edit mode, tab into edit mode, tab into edit mode. <laughs> uh, Alt S to scale those. We'll put some boots on and bring this up. We don't really want it to go through the ground too much, but it should be okay. And Control R, again, the weight paint follows along. Really nice if you do those type of things. Make them a bit scale X, L. And then put black shoes on here. And we have to cap this top here. So F to cap those. Simple shoes there. We'll call them boots. So we've got the character. We've got pants solid. And here we've got an issue, of course. And that's because the boots are bigger than the pants. And we can't really fix that as such. In that case, you'd have to maybe do a separate pair of pants that flared out. So we could copy, copy the pants hide those pants, control R, scale, alt Z to see through, scale, 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 alt Z. So if you wanted the pants to be on top like this, you could do it. So pants solid thick, armature, Control tab, post mode, and there we go. That works. Okay, here we've got an issue. They're starting to poke through a little bit. And you'll have to make the pants a little bit thicker. Or tuck them in, in that case. So when you start making stuff that overlaps, that's copying the weight paint, that could be an issue. So you'd have to fix that. Maybe one fix would be just to make that, that thicker, I think. Control tab. Oh. Object mode. Control tab, post mode, and check. And there we go. You, it's all right most of the time. So make sure you give it a little bit of extra space in, if you run into problems. Uh, there again, poking through. So be a little bit careful when you overlap like this. Again, it's not that much of a gap there. So I only extended the size. Let's do the front here as well. Give it a little bit more wiggle room inside. Control tab. Control tab, G. There you go. Pretty good now. Okay, and we've got the top back on. Uh, here's another one. If you want to do um, th this one, can be tricky. If you want to have uh, like a belt that goes across, maybe he's got uh, a non-symmetrical uh, sling around. That could be really difficult. Hide the armature, and we'll borrow the T-shirt to do that one because we wanted to be able to run outside on the t-shirt, or actually I'll do it on the solid top here. 
this one. Shift D to duplicate it. And let's call it uh, like shoulder bag. If you try to model something that goes around here by just extruding and wrapping it around the neck as a, as a shoulder bag, it, the weight painting would not work at all. Control A to apply the mirror modif Control A to apply the mirror modifier. And then now we'll uh, do uh, Control 3 to subdivide this one into some more verts. And then I'm going to apply this one, but first simple. And then Control A to apply it. Control Tab. And here now, got the, the nice thing with these now is that they're um, following the weight paint, even though they're subdivided. So if I go tab in, control tab, sec, see here, that the top still works really good, but it's subdivided there. So we've now got some more verts to work with. And hide the armature, tab into edit mode, and then three to go face select. And now I'm just going to do C to circle select. And then make it a little bit smaller and then just mark as if it was uh, like a, a shoulder bag here so we'll go down there cross c up c for circle select there and that's it and now we'll do control i to invert that selection delete faces and this one looks uh, like a Minecraft thing now, but we're going to fix it. But the good thing is that it still follows the body really well. We can g get rid of some of this internal geometry by going, adding a modifier here. We'll do decimate planar and then apply that one. Tab into edit mode again. You can see that all those inner verts are gone. And now one final thing we need to do is just delete a few of these verts. And it's important to keep all the verts now that are connecting across uh, an angled face like this on the low poly character, those need to stay. So if I do to there, enter X, dissolve verts, and that takes away those ones. Here, take away those, and these, enter X, dissolve verts. And this one could have been a little bit prettier, but I'll just do it to, to show how it works. C here. C, take away all the ones that are in the interior here. C, and leave the ones that are on the edge. Only one is necessary on the edge there. Enter X, dissolve verts. That looks pretty good. C, here we've got a lot of unnecessary stuff. So take away those, take away that one. And all of these. Leave the edge ones, remember. And here we've got one that spans across. So that one could be a bit of an issue. I have to leave this one down here. C. Take away these. And take away those. X. Dissolve. Okay, we've got a one problem here. But it's okay. We can shift select these and go J to join those. And J to join that one as well. If it needed and here C and C get rid of these oh no I need them down there to get the shape I need to keep those down here I think like this X dissolve and C and get rid of that one enter X dissolve okay took away too many I'll link these together. F to create the face there. X, dissolve verge. And here we'll link that one to this one. J, okay, that didn't work. X, dissolve. Okay, that should do. All right, so a lot of extra work there just to get rid of. Uh, maybe we'll do, yeah. And then we'll make it a little bit thicker here. So L to select the linked. Alt E, extra long face normals. That one will do. Like this. L to select the linked G, maybe a brown bag. And put the top back on. So this one's a little bit trickier. Okay, we had one issue here. And that's because it's it, it, when it folds this one, it doesn't know how to do it quite. So we can force it to fold here. So J to create a link between those verts there, a polygon. Same thing down here. We'll do, okay, I should have picked a different vert for this one. G, let's move that one manually. A little tweak there. 
So now we should see if it works. Control tab, and here we go. And it keeps the low poly look there, but it follows the body pretty good with the weight paint came along with it. So, and if you wanted to put a bag on it, we can do shift D. We could duplicate maybe, let's create J to link these up. And can I link these across J? Yeah, it creates a place there. Here, let's put the bag here. Shift D, scale it up, E to extrude that on. And just as a quick test here. Tab 3G, and there's the back thing. And now, control tab back into this one, and here we go. It's probably good enough. It deforms a little bit, but it follows along with the body. Since I duplicated the faces from the sling belt thing, or this shoulder bag there, it works pretty good. And same thing you could do for... The head is a lot easier if you're going to do different hairstyles, so... If I go Alt R, Alt G, let's just do a beard here. Hide the armature. For a beard, you could just copy these on the face, Shift D, but the principle is the same. P, separate selection. Select the new beard here. Should it be red beard? No, we'll do black beard. Okay, if I can get it there. Tab into edit mode, A to select everything, G, move it to black, Alt E, extrude long face normals. And now you can change this one a bit, or Control R is probably the best if you want to do uh, cut it so you don't delete it over here. Remember, you want to keep... Oh no, here it doesn't matter. I tell a lie because it's going to be 100% weight painted to the face. We're not going to deform this one for the low poly head. So this one you can be free to do with whatever you want. Everything is 100% weight painted to that uh, face there. Or to the head so let's just do like this control r you could go crazy then e and e to extrude that on you can connect these there l to select all the links this is so much easier to do the beards and the face hair and you could do ears and everything like that but this is uh, the beard it should work already let's check it control tab rotate and that works. And if it didn't work for some reason, just do A to select everything, Control G, remove from all, Control G, set active group head, Control G, and assign to active group. And that will always make sure that it follows along. Oh, object mode, Control tab, and there we go, the beard. All right, guys, there you have it. A little bit of extra bonus material this time around. Just barely made it into the 10 minute limit. I think it was uh, just carried over a slight little bit, but we had the extender. <coughs> so we're safe, I think. Hope it gave you a little insight to how you can do low poly clothes. And uh, I'm planning to do a full uh, length tutorial on this, uh, maybe with some less speed. And uh, you can do loads of different clothes, hairstyles, bags, accessories, gloves, shoes, everything. And um, it works pretty good. So just get started. Model loads of low poly characters. Until next week, have a great one, and I'll see you then. Bye for now. Oh, I thought I hadn't recorded this whole thing, <laughs> but I did. Let's stop it. See you next week.